Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome back to Man vs Film. This is going to be a movie review for the British flick, The Hatching. Now, I saw this on Netflix UK, so I don't know if you're able to get to wherever else you are, but if you do, I suggest kind of checking it out. It is sort of the British equivalent, kind of, to Lake Placid, only without the sort of budget and uh, pizzazz that that movie has. The basic storyline is about three kids who sneak into a kind of zoo to steal some crocodile eggs. And on the way out, one of them falls and gets eaten by a crocodile. The other two get out with their eggs and then it kind of jumps a number of years later to one of the kids who had to leave town after this comes back after his father's death to take over the business now. Tim brings with him a whole lot of sort of emotional baggage as well as his wife. It seems that there's some strange going on happening in the town. Some people are starting to just vanish round about lakes and things like that. It's really strange. I wonder what that could be. And... It kind of plays on that comedic tone. It has this group of Tim who's kind of serious and knows what, or it suspects what's going on because it's the, the crocodile legs that he had and hatched when he was younger. Then you have this group of sort of early 20s, late teen characters who are just kind of like messing about, but are kind of fun to watch. I kind of liked all those characters. And then you have uh, Tim's uncle who's a little bit weird and likes all these reptiles. I wonder if that'll come into play later on. Who knows? and he just kind of doesn't like Tim at all and it creates this very small town atmosphere about it that I kind of liked. Now the movie doesn't seem to have a big budget, it doesn't show you much of crocodiles other than tails moving in the water and a little bit of a head now and again which is wise because when you don't have the budget to make this thing look proper you don't really want to do it half-assed and they don't so they keep it kind of off-screen as much as they can and kind of focus on the characters to start off with, I was thinking this is low budget, typical British fare, not really interested, but then I found that I was kind of curious what the characters were going to do next. I was laughing at some of the jokes that were going on within the movie. And yes, it doesn't it isn't perfect, the storyline doesn't really tie up. The final third where it takes a kind of left turn that I wasn't expecting didn't really tally into the rest of the story either, because I didn't think we could the clues that that was going on to really figure it out. And some of the acting isn't great, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. It kind of adds to the aesthetic of this movie. It's short, it's fun, it doesn't take itself too seriously, which is great for one of these kind of movies because it shouldn't take itself seriously. It should kind of have tongue-in-cheek and poke fun at itself a little bit, and it does in this movie. I love the two sort of, teenage guys, Lardy and his mate. I thought they were hilarious. I liked their interactions. I love to see what they were going to get up to next. So you know, the, the side plot in the final third kind of put me off. But overall, you know, it's a fun watch. It's a good one-time watch. It's on Netflix. May as well check it out. I'm going to give The Hatching 3 out of 5. Fun, nothing spectacular. May stick it on the background if I'm doing something else next time. If you've seen this movie, let me know in the comment box below what you thought of The Hatching. And I will see you next time on Man vs Film.